Good morning, good people. So there's two things. Yeah, there's two things I want to discuss real quick. And the second thing just happened like uh, a few minutes ago because this girl has been a dickhead on my Instagram. There is one thing I used to be was a hoarder and a hoarder of people's feelings and a hoarder of keeping people in my life that should not stay in my life anymore. So there's temporary people. And what I like to do is I don't like to lose. I don't like to lose things. I like to always have things close by or I like to know where they are. So basically, I used to keep people in my life who, who no longer serve the purpose after their, after their time was done. So what I mean is, say like, it's, most, it's mostly with girls too, so there's people that do not, like I'm a person who will always give more than I receive. I'm a person who likes to give, likes to care, and I, and I used to be like very, very, I used to be very caring, and I used to be... I used to be so thoughtful and I used to do too much and I used to give people parts of me they didn't earn yet. What I'm trying to say is my boy brought it to my attention where it's just like I'm too emotional and too sensitive and I'm too caring. Like I get attached to people very, very quickly and that's a fault of mine. I'm a person who likes to give, right? So, and there's a lot of people in this world who are selfish that like to take and don't like to reciprocate. So we were speaking about just people in general and they were also, I took this as constructive criticism because I'm all about tell me what I'm doing wrong so I can improve on it. I put people, especially girls, on a pedestal who don't belong there yet. And I put, I give so much energy to people and I don't get that back. And at the end of my days, I feel drained. And it's very, very tiring. So I guess what I want to say in this video is I'm getting better and I'm really good now. Like I'm so non, I'm still emotional, but I'm quick to cut some, somebody off. Like it really doesn't bother me morning team like it really doesn't bother me to forget you like to pretend like you never existed in my life and I'm not doing that to be a rude person I'm doing that for my sanity I can still acknowledge you as a person I can still consider you a, f a friend and not give you a hundred percent of me and when I ask me a hundred percent I'm not gonna go above and beyond because you don't deserve that anymore or you haven't earned that yet so that's one thing I'm, I'm good at and I would hope that other people recognize if they do this too is to learn when to cut people off you need to know when people's when people's time in your life is done and they serve their purpose and it's time to let them go. Like you need to have like a keep people on a on a revolving door, or you keep because you there's only a certain amount. Like like I'm trying to say, there's people that I text, there's people that I'll talk to. I don't I don't talk or text to anybody every single day. I don't have the time, but I have space in my heart. I have space in my head for a few people that I really, really care about. So when I try to put too many people in that, that's when I get overwhelmed, that's when I'm, I have to be at so many places at one time and I can't do that. Like, I'm only one person and I can only give so much time before I burn out. So one thing I've been doing is cutting less on the amount of energy I give to people and I feel so much freer. So if you're a person like me who likes to hoard people and hoard people's feelings and don't know when to let go, let go. Because the people who are meant to stay in your life will be there. And if somebody wants to, if somebody needs to to contact you, they will find a fucking way. Right? It's like, if we have these, like, now let's relate it to, to fitness and let's relate it to health, right? You can come up with so many excuses as to why you're not losing weight, right? Or you can say, fuck those excuses and get it. And find every fucking way possible to make it happen. It's like, how, how bad do you want it? How much are you determined to reach this to reach this plateau or to reach a level that you've never been yet. Because if what you're doing has not been working, you need to change it up. If you have friends in your circle, you have friends in your phone who are fucking fitness freaks and who are trainers or nutritionists, why are you not asking for their help? Because clearly you don't know how to do it. And it's okay to not know how to do it, but it's not okay to acknowledge that and not do anything about it. The second thing I want to talk about is when people come come at me with negative shit, it gets thrown out the window. Like, you're not gonna get a response out of me. I'm not gonna overreact. And I had, I was tested this morning, tested. So I put up, what I like to do is, I learned this from Gary Vee. If you cannot create or you cannot document, the next best thing you can do is facilitate. So there's somebody I follow on, on Instagram, Syed Fitness. I think he's Gary Vee's, he's Gary Vee's new trainer. And it's, I like the post that he has, and I, there's an app called Repostly, and I'll copy his, con first off, I like his stuff. I'll copy the content, I'll copy the link, put it in this app, repost it on Instagram, 
give him credit and it's basically like what I'm learning is like there's a lot of people that I follow in the in fitness industry and their whole page is about them and if your perp like my purpose is not to show you how good I am my purpose is to show you how good I can make you so when I'm going through my, my Instagram now these days is about my, my best online client it's about uh, my vlogs the philosophy that I think and it's also now it's, it's gonna include other people who have very good infographics because I'm not good at doing infographics so if you cannot create you cannot document you can facilitate so what I'm doing is reposting his stuff to show other people information my page is gonna be information I think information is much more important than the person it's much like there I like the information is much bigger than me so who the fuck am I to, to just put selfies and put abs or put me uh, benching or squatting a lot of weight like everybody can fucking do that but what a lot of people can't or a lot of people don't want to do is help others is be selfless and what I want to do is just help I want to give and I want to show people that it's possible so I'm gonna end it on there this is a long time talking about whatever and um, keep dreaming keep believing keep working be somebody let's fucking get it <laughs>